Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into Excel and AI integration for business intelligence. As we navigate through this, we will discover how the fusion of these two powerful elements can revolutionize the way we analyze data, make decisions and ultimately boost business intelligence. But before we move forward, I would like to share something crucial with you. BTNX is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. Stick around because we'll dive deeper into this workshop later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you'll be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. For this video, we are going to create a dashboard using natural disasters data set. You can get this data set from Kaggle. So this data set contains total four columns with the first column being disaster, second column number of events, third column number of deaths and the last column number of people affected. As you can see, I've imported the data to the Excel sheet. To import data, you just have to go to data tab. Then you have to click on get data. Here you have to click on text slash csv then you have to browse the file then you have to click on next you can see the data then you just have to click on load as you can see here we are having total 12 rows in each row, we are having a, a disaster name, earthquake, drought, epidemic, flood, all these things. Okay. Now, let's use analyze data future in Excel. So, this is a AI feature which is integrated into Microsoft Excel. So, here you can see bunch of charts got recommended here some of them are just charts and some of them are pivot charts so we will use this charts and we will create a dashboard okay so here you can see total number of events total number of deaths by disaster So this one is helpful. Okay, let's uh, click on insert pivot table. Let's see this thing in a detail. As you can see here, so the people affected by flood are this much. Okay, so this is the highest number of people got affected by flood so this one will be useful for us we can see all the values at the last we are having waves slash surges then volcano then extreme temperature after that earthquake then wind storm then flood so before we move forward Let's talk about the significant impact AI is having on our world. In a remarkable short span of time, we have witnessed numerous job layoffs and millions of positions being replaced by AI. The question is, do you want to be swept away by this recession wave? Well, fear not, because AI won't replace you. It's the person using AI who will be irreplaceable. To safeguard your job and make yourself 
indispensable in your career consider joining our 2 hour microsoft office using ai tools workshop in this workshop we will guide you through the best ai tools to upskill increase your productivity and elevate your career don't let the wave of change knock you down secure your future with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now now let's get back to our main topic i will do one thing let's copy this chart and i'll paste it here okay i will edit this title now let's see other charts so you can see the total number of uh, events and this one let's insert this chart so i'm just going to take this thing and i'm going to keep it here you can see so when it comes to total number of events we can see first windstorm then flood okay after that earthquake then epidemic epidemic is like uh, covid like that okay then drought so i will edit this title okay next next one okay let's insert this one as you can see so with the drought most number of people have died the total number of death caused by drought is more than flood earthquake epidemic So with the floods, most number of people got affected, but most number of people have died because of drought. I'm just uh, changing the format. Okay. The first one seems fine. As you can see, I've edited the chart. Let's copy this chart and we'll paste it here. Okay. We have placed uh, three charts so let's design this dashboard so i'm not going to add uh, more charts to this one because uh, i have took the dummy data and we can't uh, add more charts here As you can see, this is the dashboard which we have created in Microsoft Excel using Analyze Data AI feature in Microsoft Excel. Based on our data set, we can create the dashboard uh, including more charts and things like that. Uh, but this is how we created a dashboard for this video. And that's it for now. As we reach the end of our discussion, I want to thank you for staying tuned. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more valuable content. And of course, do check out the link in the description for our Microsoft Office using AA Tools Workshop. It's an opportunity you don't want to miss. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.